We all get excited when we come up with a new idea. But is this idea really new, and will it really help the people you're working for? When brainstorming, it can be difficult to define exactly what it is about your new idea that's going to help the people you are working with, and how much work will be involved. The Promises and Potential Map is a tool that can help you with this challenge by mapping the relationship between what you do and whom you are doing it for. The tool provides you with a diagram on which you can plot each idea or solution you are developing. Is it helpful for the people you work with already? or for people you'd like to start reaching out to. Are these ideas completely new, or are there very similar offerings already? Meet Amanda. Amanda works for a development organisation in Bangladesh. Her organisation wants to understand the post-2015 development priorities of their community groups, and Amanda would like to crowd map this information. Her organisation used crowd mapping before, meeting with community members to draw out important details of a neighbourhood. But the process was low-tech and involved drawing a first draft in the dirt in villages before converting it into a printed form. Amanda and her team meet to discuss new ways of mapping the development priorities of their communities after 2015. They have several ideas, including using an online platform and mobile technology but they need to map which groups of people the different possible solutions will be beneficial for. Amanda decides to use the promises and potential map. They think about an improvement to an existing process and reaching out to existing users. They think about possible new offerings that they could bring to existing users. They think about how they can bring the existing process to new groups of users. They think of something that is radically new with a new group of users. After the workshop, Amanda and her team know exactly which aspects of the idea are completely new and which are building on something that they do already. They are also able to see all of the groups of people that might benefit from their work. Amanda is able to see the number of ways to collect and map local community priorities about the world that they want. Her organisation has gained a new, easy-to-implement tool for local polling by SMS.